gonna kick off with Noah Nagy, the warden of the Cotton Facility here in Jackson and the 2023 Corrections Officer of the Year, Kenyatta Patterson. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's nice. awesome. So what goes into naming the Officer of the Year? Well, I mean, we will get a committee together and, and uh, you know, usually it consists of our previous Officer of the Year who was Officer Stephen Joseph, who we had on yeah, we uh, last too. year. And, uh, and then some of our other staff and uh, we get in recommendations and, and look at uh, all the great things that folks have been doing. Uh, obviously, we've had Officer Patterson on here before highlighting the mm -hmm. work that uh, he's done with us at Cotton Correctional Facility. He's been at Cotton since 2000 with the department, wow. since 1999. And, and really, I mean, with Officer Patterson, it's the impact he has, it's his calm demeanor, it's his attitude, mm -hmm. it's his approach to the day to day that uh, really, it was a no-brainer for for our committee yeah. in that sense that he just he he sets himself out there as one that we want folks to uh you know follow that example and he's a mentor uh not only to our new staff but our seasoned staff mm -hmm. and and folks look to him in a time of need and a, you know a day-to-day -day and uh you know so it's a great honor for us to be able to uh, have officer patterson represent mm -hmm. cotton correctional facility as our officer yeah. of the year how's awesome. that feel to feels hear pretty those good. words yeah. feels pretty good you know i'm, I'm honored uh i'm thankful yeah so. take us back to 1999 when you started and then we fast forward till now 23 years uh it, you know unbelievable career um how did you think how did you think your career would go when you started? Did you ever think uh, you'd be able to have the impact that you have have had today? No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. But I mean, like I've stated before, that's kind of my lifestyle. Yeah. How I live my life on a daily basis is yeah. being able to impact people. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of. Yeah. What do you enjoy about uh, maybe new staff coming in, talking to them, uh, training them, showing them the ropes? Uh, uh, being their friend, talk a little bit about what it's like for you when you have new new employees come in. Well, when we have new employees come in, it's always the benefit. You know, you don't have to worry about getting man old as much, yeah. or you know. Uh, but it's also a benefit to have somebody to come in that really wants to learn. Yeah. So you guys, um, I'm, I'm hearing everywhere you guys are, are hiring like crazy. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to people that are maybe at a crossroads, not sure what to do? Why should they consider a career in corrections? Well, a career is different from like a, a career would be something that allows people to come in uh, as a strength mechanism for their families, for themselves. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a career choice that I chose on the strength of me, you know, uh, studying criminal justice and having a way to be able to provide for my family, not only just to make an impact on my family, but make an impact on my community. You guys are uh, having a hiring event, open open event. Tell me about uh, this event on the 19th. Now yep, on. we've had several. We have an event at Elvian College at their Dow Recreation and Wellness Center mm -hmm. uh, this Thursday. I believe it's from 9 to 5. And generally during those times, we have uh, the ability to you know, online applications right there, uh, interviews, uh, all, all the things that go into applying for the position and, and trying to get the steps going. Uh, our next academy is in February, and then we have another mm -hmm. academy in, in April. So if, if individuals uh, you know, aren't able to get uh, in this coming academy, uh, we certainly will have more coming. And uh, you know, certainly looking for uh, folks who uh, you know emulate the mm -hmm. work that uh, you know all of our staff do, but yeah. Officer Patterson, and, and again, I mean, he's being a little bit humble here right. today. Then uh, uh, you know, he needs to be, uh, and uh, you know, he is again. I can't reiterate the the work that he's done uh, at our facility, and uh, we're certainly proud mm -hmm. of of that. And you know, we have a lot of great staff, and and it's a you know. It's Folks that, you know, if they're hired on, have the ability to, to learn from these folks, the experience. You, know, you talk about 23 years working yeah. as a corrections officer. Uh, you know, he started at Huron Valley uh, Men's Facility and then has been at the Con Correctional Facility. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of experience tied into, the, mm -hmm. you know, to that 23 years. And, uh, you know, I understand him, his humility, but on the same sense, you know, the impact he has at work, but also the impact in his, in his community mm -hmm. in the Lansing area has certainly uh, yeah. has got has not gone unnoticed. Does you mentioned kind of the difference between a job versus a career, mm -hmm. and this is a career. Noah, what are some of the things that people should be thinking about that 
they could enjoy as a corrections officer or in any of the roles. Well, and open. the thing is too, I mean, you know, it, you know, you hire in as a corrections officer. There's so many different opportunities. You know, he hired in at here on Valley. I'm, I started at you know, West Wayne Correctional mm -hmm. Facility in Plymouth. Uh, you know, you have the ability. There's opportunity there. Mm -hmm. It's corrections officers. It's food service. It's health care. It's uh, we have a lot of non-custody. We've had some of our non-custody staff here that work in programming, mm -hmm. uh, work in mental health. Uh, you know, we have a lot of different opportunities. The nice thing about when you work for the state of Michigan, yeah, you can start in Jackson. Uh, but, you know, you decide you want to move your family mm -hmm. to uh, Marquette. You know, you, we have facilities in Marquette. Yeah. We have, you know, all over the state, you have that ability to, to explore the state and, and chase opportunities if that's what you choose. Mm -hmm. You also have the ability to uh, stay where you're at and continue, you know, to provide that expertise to, to uh, uh, you know, the facility that you're at. And, you know, Officer Patterson has done that for us. And, um, mm -hmm. You know, I've taken a different route, but we've all, yeah. you know, we all have that, those, that's our choice. If you right. have that ability to make that decision, the opportunity is there. So, you know, starting off as a corrections officer, uh, you know, is a great opportunity to learn everything that goes on mm -hmm. uh, inside an institution and be able to handle uh, not only, uh, you know, the day-to-day, -day, but difficult situations and, you know, kind of work yeah. your way through that experience. Yeah, you two perfect example of uh, opportunities. Um, and you both have had uh, very, very long, successful uh, careers. Now, you also work with uh, kids, which is, uh, it's, it's always important to, yes. uh, to, to pour into young people. Talk a little bit about kind of your background and why you like, uh, why you enjoy helping, helping the youth so much. I feel like, you know, the youth today is, is, is much needed for them to have a mentor, mm -hmm. uh, somebody to go to, somebody to look up to being a role model. And I kind of pat myself off being a role model, you know, mm -hmm. for younger kids, boys, girls. Um, some kids are not privileged to have that opportunity. Right. So I kind of, you know, step up to the plate whenever the opportunity presents itself. Yeah. That's incredible. So as the Officer of the Year, does he get like a special parking spot or a plaque? Yeah. Or That's something like a parking spot. Yeah. He does get a plaque. He's in there yeah. this morning. Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah parking spot. And, and each facility will have an Officer of the Year, and then there will be a statewide Corrections Officer of the Year uh, announced as well yeah. uh, here in the next month or two. Uh, there will be a banquet in May uh, where we bring all of our Officers of the Year and our Professional Ex Award winners uh, to uh, you know, mm -hmm. acknowledge the work that they've done. So yeah, it's, nice. a, it's a nice honor. What's mm -hmm. changed in the last 23 years <laughs> in corrections? Obviously technology. Technology, staffing, administration, a lot has changed. Yeah. I mean, prisoners, mm -hmm. uh, a lot has changed. Yeah. Different mentality. Yeah. What do you do at the end of the day? Like, can you just compartmentalize and walk yes. away? Drive home and unwind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet. It'd be hard to, yeah. to just yeah. leave it behind. Is that something that you've had to hone over the last 23 years? Pretty much. Uh, it comes with 23 years of experience yeah. of having, sure. to, you know, you, to be you able both, to You get to know people. You get to know stories, mm -hmm. families, uh, and things like that, obviously. Oh, of course. Yeah. And you have to be strong-minded. Yeah. yeah. You have yeah. to have a, a sense of awareness as well, you know, because you may run into someone that you just was a supervisor over yeah. in yeah. prison, you yeah. know, out on the streets. Yeah. So, you know, you have to know how you're going to handle that situation as well. Yeah, I'm sure I, there's some training on that when you, <laughs> you're working and, you, and yeah. you see someone, yeah. sees, you know, all of a sudden you see someone you know, yeah. you know, that's life sometimes. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, every day. Because the whole idea is to rehabilitate yep. and yeah. put them back out. Yep. you know, into society and hopefully they're doing good things. Yep. Well, I love the idea of you being a mentor with mm -hmm. your experience mm -hmm. and what you do for a living because you can tell them, worst case scenario, oh, you're yeah. like, let's not do this. Right. And let's keep you on the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. So I, I just can't believe that you, it's no wonder you're Officer of the Year if you're spending all day long serving uh, our state the way that you are and then in your free time you're mentoring kids. Mm -hmm. It's a really beautiful thing and commendable. Yes. So I appreciate that. I Thank hope you. more people will, will take that lead. Yeah, again, uh, and there is a hiring event January 19th. And all you have to do is show up and uh, learn, learn, ask questions. That's and, right. And uh, you'll get answers. But uh, wonderful opportunities. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Corrections sure. Officer yeah. of the Year, Kenyatta Patterson, and our warden, Noah Nagy. More of the morning show right after this quick break.